Hey, what is up guys? This is the FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can remotely lock your computer um, from anywhere in the world basically, okay? So um, it's really simple to do, you know, um, it'll take around like 5-10 minutes, right? It shouldn't take much longer than that. And you just have to set it up once and then it'll work forever. It's completely free and um, really easy to set up, alright? So let's get started. So this one is specifically for Windows, so if you're on Mac, you might have to do slightly something different, but um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys the Windows, um, the way to do it on Windows, alright? So first what you want to do is right click, right, um, and create a new text document, right, and basically this is the document that is going to actually lock the computer, right, so it's going to be a batch file, so I'll name it lock computer okay and it's dot txt right now and um, try to make one without a space in the um, in, in the title of the text file because um, I mean with the spaces sometimes it gives issues so it's better just to keep it like one word right uh, no spaces or no special characters anything alright so you want to open up this text file and we are going to type this in echo off right and then uh, run dll 32exe user 32.dll uh, and then lock work station okay and then CLS all right so basically this is the command that will lock your computer okay so we want to save it I saved it and now press X and what you want to do is rename this as a dot b b a t file okay and it will ask you to confirm that you want to change the extension say yes so if your computer doesn't show the extension uh, then you have to go into settings right and then um, make it show extensions for all files right so that will allow you to change the extension alright so I already have that done so you can just it's a simple search online you can, it'll tell you how to do it alright and we want to make sure that it works so when we double click it you can see that my computer is locked okay so I'll sign back in so basically that means the um, our bat file works perfectly fine alright so next what we want to do is install Mozilla Thunderbird okay I already have it installed right here um, you guys can go ahead and install it and then set up your email to it sync your email to it alright so I will open it up and you can see over here I have um, I have it right here and basically what you want to do first is go to the add-ons manager which you will find over here these three um, I guess drop drop down menu over here and click add-ons right and you want to install the mailbox alert add-on okay so this is the add-on we're actually going to be using so which basically alerts uh, Thunderbird that an incoming mail came and now we want to do something after that mail has come in alright so we have that installed and now we're back at our inbox okay and what you want to do now is right click your um, I guess your email right here alright go to mailbox alert and go to edit mailbox alert alerts okay so I already have this over here um, I don't know it's not I wasn't able to delete it to basically re-add it for this demo but basically what you want to do is um, um, so yeah so what you would want to do is press add right and you want to check execute a command okay have that highlight you can name this whatever you want you know obviously you would want something that is uh, um, you know uh, related to what the alert will actually do so you can I named it to lock computer right so you can name it to anything else, anything you want and here you want to get the file of the batch file right so um, basically I have it here lock that BAT so you would just select that and after that you would press OK okay so um, yeah so you press OK I already have it done it's right here um, so yeah that part you don't have to yeah you don't have to do anything else after that over here but next we're, what we want to do is click these three drop down menus okay and now we want to go to message filters okay we click message filters and now we can see that um, I have this filter over here already and let's add a new filter just so I can show you guys um, so here are the filter rules you can name it whatever you want lock computer 
right? And now this is basically what we want to, um, you know, the filter or um, what Thunderbird will scan for for it to execute that batch file. So basically, the subject okay contains. Uh, so let's do this. One. Uh, if it contains lock my computer, okay. So if it contains these three letters, uh, these three uh, words, right? Um, if the subject of the email contains that, it will automatically execute that file. Okay, so let's press OK. Um, so you have to select a target. Oh, okay, so okay over here. So you want to perform this action and you want to select mailbox alert and you want to select lock computer. Okay, so now here we have that selected and press OK. Okay, so now you can see over here I have the message filter set right and now I can close this and basically I will send an email to myself um, I guess I'll do it from my phone and you guys will see it come up and basically once it happens it should automatically lock my computer okay so to so it's um so for uh, yeah okay all right so we have it there now I got to you have to make sure the case is correct right so um, lowercase will not work in that case so you would have to do uppercase if you did set it to uppercase um, hopefully I remembered it correctly all right so I sent it to myself right now right um, So yeah, okay, you can see the email came right here. You can still see it. I have this another email client that I use that shows lock my computer and now you can see that it was automatically locked. All right, so you know, this is a really simple way to do it, really easy, um, you know, quick, easy, it's, and it's really effective and I use it all the time, right? Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. You know, if you liked the video, make sure to like it, gives it a thumbs up, really helps. Uh, if you guys have are having some trouble, let me know in the comments. I'll help you guys out. Um, you know, I've had this running for a couple of years now, right? So um, yeah, I mean, I've had issues in the past here and there. I was able to resolve it. So if you guys, you know, encountered those issues, I might have encountered it in the past. So yeah, um, if you liked it, make sure to like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.